congratulations to our player at the lucky wheel who just won a luxury car what is up guys camo squid here welcome back to another podium vehicle video win thing whatever this is this week we have none other than the Pegasi Tempesta, which ironically enough was actually on a discount last week, so people who bought that just got screwed. Uh, so this Pegasi is, as of course we know, a parody of, for the most part, Lamborghini, and looking at this car you can tell that it is definitely a Lamborghini. More specifically, however, it is a Huracan. Let me just, uh, heavy influences from the Lamborghini Huracan, particularly in terms of scale and size, while also taking side profiling from the 2016 Lamborghini Centenario, the 100 years of, Buga of, of Bugatti, yeah, of Lamborghini, 100 year anniversary car or whatever, the Centenario. You can see that with the big side vents and the rear arches. Side intakes, I guess, is what they really are. Side intakes. The rear top uh, fascia of the vehicle takes design references from the 2014 Lotus Espirit concept, where the B pillar, which is right there, roughly. Right there, back of the car. The front is the A pillar, and the back is the B pillar. Sometimes there are cars and vehicles with C pillars, which a sports car, supercar such as this would not have. Uh, but the B pillar, the hood vents, the grill, and rear cockpit window come from that vehicle. The front bumper, however, if I can race around here really quick it's hard with this thing constantly spinning in this direction but the front bumper uh, the hood line and the front headlights are also similar to that of the Espirit concept and it also takes design from the 2013 Lotus Elan or Elan or well it's not Elan because that would be an O it's E-L-A-N so Elan concept and uh, if you know what that car looks like you can definitely sort of see it from like this angle um, but yeah we're just gonna refer to this as the Huracan or the Tempesta obviously that is what this car mostly is is the Huracan so uh, yeah it's got this nice blue looking Looks like that's the primary color, is the light blue. And then I think the secondary color is like a metallic blue, black, kind of. Like black with a blue metallic, or pearlescent. That's kind of what this looks like, if you... Because when the light shines on it, it's more of a blue. Uh, that's my Karuma, is kind of like that. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to check that out really quick. Naturally, we will take the Pegasi... Tesseract, the Terzo Millennio concept car. The third millennium car. Can't quite remember why they called it that, but uh, that's what this is. So we're going to take that to go get in the other one. And naturally, this is a electric car. <laughs> Very powerful. <laughs> Look at that can uh, wall ride easily. I'm not positive, but I believe the Terzo Millennial, which again is what this car is based off of. I think it's hybrid. I could be wrong. Maybe it's electric as well. And naturally, we put the Tempesta. I'm not sure if it's classified as sports or super. Personally, I'm going to call it a supercar, even if it does say sports. Same with the Viser Neos. Those are technically super class, but they have butterfly doors. To me, they're supercars, and they look like supercars. So I, I classify them as supercars, whether Rockstar does or not. I'm not positive, but uh, but yeah, 
naturally it will be in my sports car overflow supercar overflow as well at this point I might have to put my sports cars on another well no high-end supercar high-end sports cars and like lower-end supercars that's what's in this garage like high-end sports cars meaning supercars that are technically classified as supers by Rockstar I'm gonna head to level 2 for that and here we go wow look at all these cars loading in I think we're just about out of space in this one as well so we're gonna actually since I'm right here we're gonna put this vehicle with the Reaper down here because of course they are both although this is technically based on the Lycan Hypersport which there's only seven of in the world one of the Fast and Furious 7 cars I believe uh, maybe Fast 5 I can't remember at this point they all kind of blend together I'm pretty sure it's Fast 7 though Fast and Furious 7 or Furious 7 or whatever the heck they call it uh, but this is the Lycan Hypersport it also I believe has a mix of the Aventador and the Reventon maybe uh, I have time so let me just Pegasi Reaper let me just look that up really quick since there's no reason not to yeah I completely forgot to mention while we were there that this had orange or yellow colored wheels. There you go, you can see better the black and blue metallic on the secondary color. I might change that to just black because I don't really know if I like the blue pearlescent on there. Uh, let's see, the Reaper, is the body and silhouette of the car is inspired by the Lycan Hypersport, like I said. The front kind of takes influence from the Huracan also, actually. So that's interesting. You can kind of see that, though. If I stand here between the two cars, it's kind of similar. Seen in the front grills and the hood shape. Yeah, you can definitely see that in... You can definitely see Huracan in the Reaper, that's for sure. The A-pillars consist of a small carbon fiber piece in the center of the pillar. Also taken from the Hypersport, which you can see that right here. That's pretty cool. I never noticed that, that they've got that little bit of detail, little piece of carbon fiber right there. It's pretty cool. The rear is directly based on the rear of the Huracan, which you can see sharing almost identical engine louvers. That's this, that's what covers the engine back there. Uh, the rear lights and the bumper design. The lights, I'm not so sure the lights kind of the night the lights really look like a huracan like this looks more like a huracan actually no not even that doesn't i mean the overall shape of the car like if the headlight if the taillights were like that shape that would be more huracan looking and with this one though i don't really know if that looks like huracan the taillights because if you don't know a huracan taillight is like a horizontal line with like a little angle going off the left well for the left tail light for the right one it would go off the right at a little bit of a downward angle uh, just look up Lamborghini Huracan if you want to know more specifically and get a better idea of what that looks like uh, this also says the vehicle's rear overhang is very compact compared to that of the front and the rear of other sports car supercars the stock wheel rim design is based on that of the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, which, that is what I said, it's an Aventador. And I guess there's no Reventon in there. I guess there's something else that is a Reventon, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm not sure if these are stock or if I put those there, or maybe I won it from the podium, I'm not sure at this point. I think I bought that actually. Let me just check the price of the Tempesta. It's actually not too bad considering sports cars and supercar prices in this game. However, it is a somewhat of an older vehicle. Uh, I believe... Yeah, there's the Reaper. I believe it is... Here it is. Yep, little over a million dollars, which it came out when? During the... 
which update part of import export which that was a long time ago if we come back up and or if we go back and then go back into it back into the site you can see there's been quite a few DLCs since import export we have the doomsday heist smugglers run gun running all the way back to cunning stunts special vehicle circuit and then we have the import export which actually only brought two supercars with it which is interesting nice startup sound not sure what that sounds like at the moment uh, let's see horn normal horn I really like those wheels I'm not sure if that's stock or if that's if that's a actual rim option or not all right I guess we'll do our testing and stuff really nice sound I like that supposedly I'm I don't agree with this but supposedly this is one of the best vehicles in the game obviously upgraded but I'm not sure if that's accurate personally I don't believe that is accurate Nice brake light right there. Regular lights, reverse lights on the side. Headlights make sense. I really like the headlights. Looks like the kind of the Huracan still. All right, let's get a acceleration really quick. seems as though so far it can backfire the flames will backfire on impact or on impact yeah on command not on command when it's revving maybe not on command kind of got to slow down and then speed up again if you want to get flames and then hit the e-brake I'm not a very good drifter, so we don't know if that... Here's what the Fulbrights look like. Just gets a little brighter. So yeah, I guess once you're at a good enough speed, if you hit the e-brake, for more than a second, or maybe a, a solid second, then it will backfire. Backfire. Wow. Backfire. And I think the acceleration is pretty good from what I just tested. Top speed. Probably not very good. Let's see if we can keep our momentum going through this corner or turn or whatever you want to call it. The Huracan is technically a very good track beast. I'm pretty sure, so. Very good handling. Not steering out of control like some cars do these days. Let's get a brake check. E-brake first. That's actually really good. Get a standard brake check. Shut up, Lester. God damn. Alright, and... Pretty good. Donut check. Y'all know I'm not the best at donuts. We had it going for a little while. I feel like it could be a good driftable car. But again, I don't know anything, so. That's actually working pretty well. I don't know if I'm doing it right or what I'm doing or anything, but it's working. Maybe we could get a DDE style upgrade on this one of these days. Probably won't do it now, just because I'm keeping all these vehicles stock. Just because. Don't worry about why. It's I just don't feel like paying money for a free car, if you know what I mean. 
So yeah, I guess we'll head in then and see what the customization options are. And what it has on it already. From the podium. Okay, so this is classed as a supercar, which is good. That's very good. As always, we have a little bit of damage from just the casual drive. Um, don't worry about... Just, just don't worry about that, alright? Uh, so, yeah. That is very DDE right there. Probably break that immediately, though. I really like that actually. So, as it turns out, these wheels are 100%, well, I don't know if they're exclusive to this vehicle, but they are, as stock, they are not a option you can find when you want to change them. So, if you want them to be this color, as stock wheels, then do not change them if you win it from the podium. I did notice a couple of the couple of the front end options are very DDE, like the splitter with canards. I did notice that the, there were a couple hood options that kind of reminded me of the Zentorno. I'm not just sure if that's, I'm not sure if that's just me or if, like, those are actually on there. I was expecting a little bit of a smaller spoiler back here, but apparently there are only, like, chest high spoilers available for this vehicle. I did, however, one of them, the Mark II something or other, Carbon Wing Mark II or whatever, I did like that one. It's not too bad. And then whichever one's right below it. The primary color does change the majority of the vehicle. And then the secondary color as well changes the hood and roof as well as actually the trim along the bottom. So like, I believe the bunker, bumper, bunker. Uh... The stitching it changes, changes some stuff in the front grille, as well as the trim around the bottom. So that's pretty cool. It, it does seem as though it will rev on, or it does seem as though it will spit flames on command when you rev it. Which makes sense. It seems as though you do have to be going at a constant good speed to get them though when you are driving contrary to what I believed before and like I said you have to hold it in for a second it's not just gonna more often than not it's not just gonna go in low gears it is much easier to get that backfiring than in higher gears so so there you have it this past week's podium vehicle the Pegasi Tempesta, or as we like to say in the car world, the Lamborghini Huracan. Um, this is the winning review and customization 
of this vehicle, this sports supercar. It is classified as a supercar, so that's good. So we're going to keep it back here with these ones and not up there with the technically sports cl sports class supercars. Um, but yeah, this is it. And there are a couple op upgrade options that I think I might eventually change to. I'm not quite sure, but the hood I liked, the one of the splitters I liked, a couple of the side skirts I liked, and that one wing I was just talking about, I do actually like. No rear bumper upgrades available, I did notice that. And you can't change the mirrors either. Overall, I really enjoy this car. Not sure if it is the best car, as some people claim, but I will definitely track it and stuff and see what we can get with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed i look forward to seeing you next video if you are there to be sure that you're there then subscribe with notifications on if you're not subscribed and if you are subscribed turn on those turn on those notifications come on man you're slacking as always i will see you guys in the next video take care everybody